Hi my besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing very well. Okay, we have a huge advancement now that Morphe have officially dropped James Charles. Now, if you've been following this ongoing situation, you know how big of a deal this is and how much pressure it took on Morphe, the company, to drop James Charles. Um, before we get into it, please make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. It means you automatically become a bestie and my second channel, which is linked down below. Okay, so Morphe, if you don't know who they are, I know not everyone knows and I apologize for assuming, is like a really big, almost the biggest makeup brand when it comes to influencers, as in they've literally probably partnered with every YouTube beauty guru at this stage, like I'm talking Matty Amye, Laura Lee, Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, whenever he was one, James Charles was their main contender up until recently. And I genuinely mean up until recently because with the allegations that have been coming out against James Charles with minors, they were refusing to talk, they were refusing to acknowledge anything, and they were actually trying to silence people, allegedly, who were asking why haven't they made their opinions clear and or just immediately cut ties with James because this is an incredibly dangerous situation and why are they enabling him and allowing him to still reap the benefits of all of this income and not punish him in any sort of way whenever James Charles Oh, need to take a breath, came forward himself and admitted that two of the situations with the underage fans were in fact true. And that's not even me having to say allegedly there because James Charles made that video called holding myself accountable and came forward and admitted that two of them, it actually happened. So what does that stand for the other like 15 that there is? You know what I mean? Alleged 15. So Morphe dropped all these beauty gurus whenever they had their scandals. So they had even more pressure on them when it came to James because everyone, including, you know, us, you know, the besties, were like, keep the same motherfucking energy. As in, Jeffree Star, it took a lot of pressure, but they discontinued their products with Jeffree Star and the promotion of Jeffree Star things this summer, Jeffree's last cancellation, Shane Dawson, Big, big, big pressure with all of Shane's misconduct on the YouTube platform and off-platform behavior. Then they dropped him. Laura Lee dropped her. Manny M.E.A. dropped him. They've done this with every influencer almost immediately or whenever it came to Jeffrey, who was like their biggest one that, you know, after all these years, you know, after signing him, after they saw the problematic behavior, then they decide to drop him. This is the thing as well. These companies don't care. They, all they care about is money and pushing this agenda of their creators until the very last moment, until they can't make any more money or until it's going to completely damage their reputation. And James Charles was that for Morphe. So I actually have a statement that they released least on Twitter here and we're just going to go through it. Now, Morphe have addressed whenever they've dropped Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson in more detailed ways and in quicker ways and in better ways and with James Charles of course there's an issue with their statement and I don't listen I get it with this James there's a lot of back and forth and there's a lot of okay they did something why isn't it good enough but when it comes to Morphe's statement about dropping James Charles or discontinuing their support of him it's a bit ridiculous because they basically came forward and saying that them and James came to an agreement to stop promotion whenever with what we're seeing with James if we're going to keep with Morphe's logic of dropping other makeup people, it shouldn't have been came to a decision. It should have been this guy is a danger to children and let's mm -mm -mm -mm, get rid of him. So they released a tweet and from Morphe Brushes and it currently has 16,000 likes, which in comparison to the 1,000 quoted tweets is not good because people, again, were just being like, is this your statement? So after days of silence and on top of that, also promoting the James Charles artistry palette on their Instagram stories right after these allegations came forward. Now keep in mind these allegations have been for years, but I mean the recent ones that even James acknowledged. They were promoting James's products. Again, trying to get that last minute of glory money. And they did actually discontinue James's James code on the Morphe website, which gave 10% off a couple days ago. So it was kind of being rumored behind the scenes that they were going to officially drop him. And this is what happened. So, this is it. This is their statement. Uh, the, the, like, can we even say this is two paragraphs? Remember when they dropped Jeffrey Shane? They was whole stories, whole story. They could tell us every fucking detail. Here's what they said with James. Now, finally, they're acting. Finally, there's some sort of repercussions with James. But still, okay. In light of the recent allegations against James Charles, 
Are they really allegations if even James came forward saying that they were true? Like at least two of them were true? Are we done calling it allegations? Or are we going to continue pushing that agenda too? From a company standpoint, do you not want to say that it was real things because you ignored it and continued to push him? Isn't that right, Morphe? <sighs> My favourite thing is people saying uh, Jeffrey was Voldemorphy. <laughs> too good. Morphe and James Charles have agreed to end their business relationship. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? What do you mean? Morphe and James Charles have agreed to end their... When there was contracts involved with, with Jeffrey, with Shane, with Laura Lee, with Manny, they were dropped like that. Oh my god, it just shows how much money James was making these people, that they had to come to an agreement. What is the... I'm gonna tell you now, Bessies, this is all speculation. Speculation, speculation coming from my head. I believe that the agreement was that they were gonna pick James up again in like two months. Um, we know with these allegations about James, for some reason, they happen, they die down, silence. They happen, they die down, silence. They happen, so during that next silence, probably they're gonna pick him up again, and probably that was in the agreement, which is absolutely ridiculous to say, but Bestie, I wanna know your opinion. Come on, you don't think I'm insane for thinking that, right? Or maybe you do, but I don't see how you could, because this is just what we see with their language here. We both came to the agreement. What's the agreement? Tell us the agreement. Don't be shy, bestie. Let us know. We want to know. What's the agreement? Because if it was any other person you dropped, you would have told us the agreement. Why aren't you with James? Is it because you're still probably making money with him behind the scenes? Probably. So, Morphe and James have agreed to end their business relationship and wind down sales of the Morphe X James Charles product offering. Wind down. With everyone else, they dropped the products from their website. With James, even when they're doing the most extreme action that they can be doing, they're still half-assing it. They're still being like, we decided to end our partnership and we're, we're just going to wind down the product sale. Just a little bit, a little bit. Wind down? If this was anyone else, you would have dropped the product. Put a sale on it. Put it in TJ Maxx. We saw what you did with the conspiracy palette. Their language here is, I hate it. So not only is this an agreed ending, which means James was probably paid out, in my opinion, allegedly. Bestie, th that thought just came to me. Do you think that James was paid out of this contract? Because I do. The way they're saying they've agreed, it has to be like money involved. <sighs> and wind down the sales, oh my god. It is, and has always been, Morphe's goal to create a positive, safe, and empowering space. I know limited stuff about Morphe. Positive, safe, and empowering are not three words I would ever use to describe this company. Positive, safe, and empowering space where all beauty lovers can freely share their artistry and passion for cosmetics. And Morphe is committed to furthering that goal. Well, no, you're not. You know how I know you're not? You've done a statement saying that you're no longer working with James Charles and basically said that you both agreed that you don't want to do it anymore and you're not going to discontinue the products, you're just going to wind down the sales, which means we don't even know what wind down means. They've been pushing this damn James Charles palette for years now that the level of promotion winded down would probably be the level of promotion that a normal palette would ever get. It's just absolutely insane. So the response to this has been... Someone said, the James Charles X Morphe palette will forever be my favourite palette and will always hold a special place in my heart. Then someone said, yeah, imagine every time you use it, think of the miners he used to get NUDEs for himself. He's a disgusting P-word. And then someone else said, Morphe and James agreed. Didn't know that a child P-word was able to agree to end their business relationship. Someone said, probably because of a contract. And someone said, yeah, but they also had a contract with Jeffrey, Shane and Laura Lee, yet they dropped them within a week of their scandal. Oh my god, this is, someone said, so someone has now edited this. This is going around. And it says, so someone's edited it. In light of the recent admitted crimes of James Charles, Morphe and James have just, 
I can't believe that like this is a better statement and it's an additive one. Have agreed to end our business relationship, but still sell remaining stock for profit of the Morphe X James Charles product. It has always been Morphe's goal to hope it would go away where all beauty lovers can freely share their artistry and passion for cosmetics and Morphe is pissed off that you wouldn't shut the f up about it. And at the end of the day, this is what we're seeing. Someone said, y'all made the announcement at the time. Um, you've been pushing back this, you do not care, this is not about morals, you're just trying to clear your image. Look at the people you've supported over the years. Hi Morphe, they aren't allegations if James admitted to doing them. Wind down is an interesting choice of words for slowly ending a business relationship with someone who admitted to sending naked photos to M-I-N-O-R-S during there's just so much censoring you have to do on YouTube when you're talking about this, and it's so frustrating, but you know what I mean. This is insane. People are saying, oh, so y'all mutually agreed? The, the wording has pissed me off. Bestie, I want to know what your opinion is. Even when they're doing the best thing they can be doing in this situation, they still fuck it up. Still fuck it up. I love you. I want to know what your opinion is. We'll talk about it below. Stay safe, stay happy, and yeah, so much to talk about in relation to this. Let me know. Keep the same energy, Morphe. Point blank period. Bye.